sucking on my energy Cleaning up, I'm taking care of all myself and me Drinking coffee, take a sip, they say I'm sparkling Manifest, I write it down, you know it's happening What's poppin', what's Gucci, what's poppin', what's Gucci, what's poppin'? What's Gucci, beauty gang? I don't even know where I got that from, the poppin' Gucci thing I don't know if that's my new thing or not Still testing it out. Anyway, as you guys can tell by the title, we are on to another weekly vlog, okay? I'm determined to get this down. By that, I mean, I'm determined to just start turning on the camera and documenting my life. I've said this to you guys so many times, but I have to keep repeating it to myself because the Virgo in me just overthinks too much. It causes me to miss out on sharing certain aspects of my life that are super dope with you guys just because I overthink or it's not planned ahead of time and blah, blah, blah. As I think about like my weeks and stuff, whether it be, oh, mommy coming on Sunday. Oh, oh, no. oh hello. You feel good. Hello. You, you do too, as you do. Look at her little blazer. Which looks familiar. It looks good on you though. Mm -hmm. And then hey babe. We've been together, clearly. We've been together. We just uh <laughs> we just filmed the quality conversation for our Patreon. But I was telling them, I'm 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 working on still getting out of my head. This is the start of a weekly blog. And I said, I'm gonna just start turning on the camera and documenting my life. So that they can see what's going on throughout my week. Something and then I was like, something like, and then you came through the door. Every Sunday we're with mom for the most part. So I'm like, stuff like that and she get her hair did today yeah. i'm gonna do her hair because do you want to tell them Before. where you're going after should i could i would i yes mom why not why not why not <laughs> okay mama well deserves it period oh baby mama going to the dominican say what yeah. say what Mama going to the DR, y'all, this week. So I am doing some, we're gonna attempt. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kill it though. You some knotless braids on her today. Mm -hmm. You packed up? Just about. She ain't packed up. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, we just had some Subway. What are you doing? I'm trying to show them. Oh my gosh. I'm trying love. to show you. I need love. Yeah, cause I'm gonna be wrapped up for an hour. I'm trying. I don't need love. That's hard to do. <laughs> Feel it. Let me set this down. You want good loving? I want good loving. Gotta give you good loving. Yeah. 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 It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. So I'm using this jam for my mama's parts and like to get the hair, you know. The space jam. Hood. Space Rat tail comb, soft brush. We'll see how this turns out. I actually haven't braided hair in a very long time, not even my own. We got some hair off of Amazon too. Some gray hair to match mama's texture. We got six bundles of that. That's the goal. I'm trying to do feed-ins, not list. We'll see. Hello. Okay, so let me show y'all from my perspective what's going on here. I'm trying to, so this one is pretty good, okay? This is a fed-in braid. So first and foremost, I only showed you guys the gray, and as I was starting to put the gray in my mom's hair, it was not looking right. Thankfully, I had some hair that I was gonna use for myself at some point, but I'm combining it now with the gray hair so it comes out looking something like this, which is what her actual texture 
is so that blends super nice the gray would have been ratchet i can't have my mama out here like that and the, but well go I'm ahead sorry, i would just add on my hair is black back here right? yeah it is black back there very dominant the right yeah but either way still even as we get closer to the top with the actual gray it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't have been it needed a mixture because even up here it's a mixture of still dark gray and light gray check it out yeah the girl is doing you it. gotta blend it's got so to be, i can't have mama out here like this no, so she never done. At first, I was thinking of doing like a base. You guys know that thick kind of base they have for box braids. And like, cause she wanted jumbo. And no matter how big the sections are, the sections are pretty big back here. My mom's hair is full, but it's not dense. Whereas my hair is has a lot of density to it. So a section like this would be like humongous. But also because your hair is blow dry too. That's another thing. Mm. Cause your hair is blow dry and already kind of thinned out. Shoot, they done tried to start the movie. First of all, we trying to watch this movie. Well, what did you just have? us watching mom you would help me do this pathway crying and tears oh and my gosh I just posted my bachelorette first uh, video for my Ooh. bachelorette, and my mama got emotional. Ooh, well, no, she you saw the behind the scenes stuff that yeah. we haven't posted it's yet. Only just begun. Yeah, of me and Josh. So mama's yeah. still taking that in. <laughs> All I can say is the process. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful process. Mm -hmm. It's so good to feel those vibes up in there. Yeah, the babies, it's y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so Ma just had us actually watching in our mother's garden. So that was nice. And now we're gonna watch this new movie that just came out, Persuasion. Oh, I'm so awful with the remote, bruh. I kid you not. No, mom, every time I have the remote, some point I do something where I click off, turn off the TV. It always happens. Josh always makes fun of me and takes the remote from me too. It's very sad. I was trying to prove him wrong. That's a trait. That's another mother's trait. Oh my gosh. But we find our way back. Yeah, we do. You see? You see? Counts. And we learn from others. Mm -hmm. Mostly mistakes. I don't think so. It's top 10, too. Oh, it says number one movie today. Might as well thumb it up. All right, we're going to try that out. Okay. And I will update you guys once I figure out. The Virgo in me is determined to make this look fire. So we'll see. We'll see. Pretty nice. Okay. Oh, I have to get the mirror so I can see the back, but I'm loving this. Mm -hmm. See the other side. See the side. Mm -hmm. Made it out. And I love the way you camouflage this green black girl. Oh man, Just that, was like my hair. Yeah, that was a job. Hair. Just like my hair. Well, she's happy. Yeah. That's all that matters. <laughs> I cannot remember what time we started, but it is 9 p.m. now, so I have a little energy, y'all. So, I... thank you so much. Yeah. I love it. Oh my God. And it doesn't hurt. It just feels like natural hair. Come meet you, uh, Miss Perfectionist. Oh my goodness. I love it. And as it gets older, it gets thicker, and it just blends in just right with my hair. Mama got me. Okay. Hmm. DR ain't ready for you. They show them that stuff. <laughs> they show them that They gonna be, they gonna be all right. <laughs> The food has arrived. Food Thank you. What do we get again? So you got a shrimp for your bowl. Ma got a chicken oh. for your bowl. You got two steak tacos right here. Today. Yeah, let's see your <laughs> You should have stated that when we were ordering. You know that. You know that. Mm, that's oh, the chicken. Oh, I got shrimp. You got. I definitely told them no tomatoes. Oh no. What did you get, man? Just a bunch of chicken tacos. Okay, and then we got. Oh, shrimp, the shrimp. Oh. Yeah, we got this from Super Burrito King. And actually, Josh, I don't know where you saw it on Instagram, but I guess Kevin Hart, is this a new series of his? It's called Heart to Heart. And his, maybe his first guest, I don't know, is Jay-Z. We're actually watching the interview. Also, um, I had watched the other day, Lauren London did an interview with Angie Martinez, I think her name is. It was really good and really like interesting. That's kind of where I feel like we've been watching a lot of lately, like interviews and podcasts. Conversations open up the door to everything. Ourselves. That's facts. This knowledge along we can educate ourselves and have educated conversations. We as a people can grow together. Okay. Conversation. Okay. Period. I think that is it for today, you guys. So see you tomorrow and say bye, Mama, because the last time I'm gonna see you this week. Country, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Full tooth in my hat. Mm -hmm. Okay, she did with cat. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome, Mama. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. still sleep when I left he leaves me little mirror notes what does that say went to the sauna I love you so much baby you make me feel so lucky to have you in my life oh if you're seeing this baby feeling is mutual <sighs> good workout though one thing about me y'all I am going to as I'm like trying to figure out this uh discipline routine I'm trying to establish in my life but yeah as I'm trying to it consistently in my life one thing that I don't waver on is setting the tone on a Monday me Meaning I started my Monday off not touching my phone whatsoever until after I do my daily devotional, my like 15 minutes of stillness, and my gratitude journal, which I actually started. When did I start this? My brother inspired me to uh, start doing it. He was telling me. So I was kind of telling him things that I had been going through this year and just mental battles and stuff like that. He's kind of like my mental Sherpa, so to speak. I wrote down like a whole bunch of quotes on my gratitude journal that I make sure I read. Well, one, he said, I am the standard. Like, you are the standard to have that mentality in all things that I do. And repeating that to myself helps me not to overthink and compare what I'm doing, what my lane is, what my content is, etc., to others. I wrote down that amongst other things like believe it, receive it, be disciplined, be intentional. I am not regular, I am not average. Delete negative thoughts. Something else he told me, think supernatural and you'll be supernatural. Stuff like that. I start off my mornings with this daily devotional. You guys have seen me do that a couple times. Flash positivity journal that I started. So he said write 10 things every day that, and I haven't hit it every day, but I've been, I've been doing pretty good. Like I always come back, but 10 things I either am grateful for want or believe about myself or whatever so an example from my first time when I wrote in it I said I am one of one like I'm an original therefore that is my superpower that's all I'm gonna share because these are personal actually but that was just to give you guys like an idea I try to start my Mondays in that way I've been I've been feeling really good I'll hit the gym those that's my Monday it has to be that way and I guess I should have said too first things first before I even get out of bed I pray then I go outside my mom put me on to like if I had this type of view like I would be out here meditating first thing in the morning every day and it kind of clicked for me like hmm why am I not starting my day off with like fresh air beautiful skyline like all the reasons I wanted to move here in the first place just taking that in and being grateful for it every day so yeah that amongst other things is what I've been trying to like establish in my routine you guys might have seen this in one of my YouTube videos it's actually when I partnered with Target for their black um, beyond measure collection but there's this uh, daily planner which is super dope because you can have like your schedule from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. you can write out your schedule the meals your water intake top three priorities to do list and any other notes um, so I need to, what I need to go ahead and do now, it is Monday, so do that. I have some, a concept due for a brand deal today. Have some analytics that I need to submit. I need to film a video I had asked on my Instagram. Was it this weekend or whatever? Management, taxes, 
um, etc. Because I feel like I've never done that before and I've been in the game six years now. So I know what it feels like not to have management. I know what it feels like now to have management. I've had a lot of ups, a lot of downs, trial, error, etc. From the legal standpoint, I've had to deal with that. So I just thought it would be helpful. I'm just trying to find different ways to incorporate you guys in my life and, and show you guys what it is like for me to be in the position that I'm in, uh, as well as balance that and bring value to you guys by answering some questions that you might have about the industry or whatever. So this week also is rollout week for me and Josh's combined um, batch trip to Cabo. So yesterday I posted the very first piece of content, which was just like my closet when I was in Cabo. Um, of like my outfits or whatever. And then today, yeah, I can show you guys because by the time y'all see this, it would have been out by now. Today is kind of like our, well, we're posting on our Patreon, our Villa tour, which I'm about to show you guys the real form of that. Um, and then what else is going up? That's going on our Patreon. A nine minute teaser though is going up on our YouTube. Because our YouTube is now kind of almost like, I don't, I don't call it a spam page, but it's kind of like our marketing page, so to speak, for the content that we're putting on Patreon. So that's going up. Josh is handling the YouTube stuff. I'm handling the Instagram stuff. I'm trying to think what else that I need to do. And I need to put together the trailer, like the whole trip. We want to put a montage trailer together for that. So I'm going to handle that. Concept do for this new brand deal that I just got into. And then um, analytics for my Scentbird video. I partnered with them. I did a three video partnership with them. This was the final one. So I need to submit the analytics to my management um because brands yeah i was gonna say most but pretty much all brand deals require analytic afterwards so within 48 hours to 72 hours they want you to send the analytics of how the content is so i need to do that today um i need to reach out also on a personal note um trying to get this reception dress made oh my gosh i didn't tell you guys so tell me why last week, I was so emotional when I found this out. So um, as I think all of you guys should know by now, Josh and I are getting married October 1st of this year. So in less than three months. I don't know where we are posting. I saw a comment basically saying that October 1st is Nigeria's Independence Day. Most of you guys know. Week. Mine's to start off right Dang, now. that's scary. Ooh, that was scary. Um, October 1st is Nigeria's Independence Day. I did not even know that and it just made me so emotional because y'all know I'm part Nigerian. My dad was Nigerian, born and raised there. And um, as most of you guys also know, my dad passed away when I was young, when I was 12. So the process of like getting married and all of that has been a little bit emotional. That's the time when usually the father walked the daughter down the aisle and like give her away and all of that stuff. My mom is gonna do that for me. I feel like even if my dad was alive, I would wanted both my parents on my arms but um in particular you know he's not gonna be here for that in person he'll be there in spirit I have no doubt and and that's what made me so emotional I'm like October 1st that wasn't intentional yet it's the day my dad's country was free like was independent and it just kind of felt like very I don't even want to say full circle because full circle is, is, is as if I knew prior I did not know so it kind of felt like my dad's stamp of approval on my marriage and like that's just I think that's so beautiful because it's something that that will always stick with me now that date because that's the day I'm getting married as well as that's the date my dad's country was independent like that was his I feel like it's his spirit on that day so I was kind of a, a wreck that day when I found out a good wreck because it, it just yeah I was overcome with emotions to be honest but it just gives me so much pride so I, I, I said all that to say the reception dress idea that I originally had I'm gonna do something different now because it's my dad's country's independence day like I have to represent and I was trying to reach out to this company and said they get back in 48 hours wired to them Wednesday last week and I haven't heard anything I have to double check my email this morning because and that's something I have to do every morning to check my email that's like a mandatory with my management like first thing in the morning last thing at night check your business email so I have that to do today amongst other things I just need to plan out I will check in with you guys at some point again I guess. Oh, oh, I was gonna say, I knew there was one more thing. I just told you guys I was gonna show y'all our villa teaser, although I'm sure most of you guys have saw it on um, Instagram already. And I'm wondering, I might have to talk while it's playing, otherwise, copyright.
Yeah, hopefully. That's what I'll be working on today, as well as whatever else needs to be pre, I guess, scheduled for the Cabo push this week. Bachelorette trip prep went up yesterday as well, and y'all seem to be enjoying that, so I'm happy about that. It's time to get the day started. I'm feeling good. This is why also I like to try to get in that rhythm and routine because when I start the day with a clearer mind, a grateful heart, intentionality, my days go way better. I'm way more productive and just excited, honestly, for the day. So I just remembered something else I wanted to do with you guys. I just hopped out the shower. I'm feeling so fresh and so clean, clean. I actually ordered Teamy Blends. I've actually worked with them before, but this is not sponsored whatsoever. I love their detox mask. I ran out of that a while ago, and. I've been missing it, like in particular when I see my face is starting to act up and I'd be sad that I don't have it. So I reordered that, but they also had some other products I was interested in trying. There's the detox mask. They actually, I think I want to put on this side of breath. This Beauty Mask Restorative Clay Facial. That's what I wanted to try on this morning. So let's see how it restores me for this Monday. And then I also grabbed their Vite C Collagen Infused Serum. I even grabbed their Repair Tea Infused Oil. And lastly, I grabbed Grab their Renew Vite C Eye Cream. I heard so many skincare people, I've been watching a lot of kind of skincare content and videos, and they all rave over the fact that vitamin C is really necessary in your skincare routine. So I'm excited to try out these two in particular, especially eye cream. Y'all know I don't be doing like the foundation and all of that. So my skin needs to always remain on point, basically. I only do my brows. Really, the only makeup I do is brows and lip liner, lip gloss. So I always wanna make sure my skin skin hair is on point. Yeah, but once in a while I'll get like dark spots and stuff from pimples and breakouts. It's really bad eating habits and stuff. Honestly, that new Beyonce song, when I first heard it one or two times, I didn't like it, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. And y'all know I'm a Beyonce stan, okay, Team Virgo. But as it's been placed in my feed and stuff ever so many times through Instagram Reels or whatever, because the song went, it trended and went viral. Now as you hear it more, let me know. Are y'all that way? Like, if you hear a song originally that you don't like, but you hear it more and more, eventually it kind of catches on like, hmm, not so bad. Yeah, I think it's just different. Her album comes out next week. I'm excited about that. Oh! I think they PR'd me. It says, hi, Yusu Meme. We heard you were running out. Thank you for displaying your growth as you have inspired so many. We heard you. Aww. This is from Salt XO. I've um, shown you guys their products a couple times. They're a black owned company. What did they give me? Oh my gosh, I did say that. I said I was running out of my Hydra mask. Oh, my late night Vin session. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so freaking much. And no, they didn't. See, I haven't um put you guys onto these products yet. I'm thinking about doing a, there's a couple of different types of YouTube content I wanna do, but in particular in the shower, I was thinking about doing a black owned brand. My favorite self care hygiene black owned brand. Yeah, something to that effect. So whether it be body scrubs, sugar scrubs, body lotion, oil, I'm saying face mask, stuff like that. I want to like put together my favorite black owned brands. And let me know if you guys would want that in a YouTube video form as well. But they also gifted me this sensual body oil. Oh my gosh, y'all. I actually have it and it smells so freaking good. I didn't run out of my bottle yet, um, but it's kind of like more than halfway out. Amazing, and also if you guys are watching this, when is the turmeric uh, scrub coming back? Cause your girl's running out of that too. Anyway, we go. It smells, how do I describe it? It's just like super kind of like floral. Look at that freaking shine, baby! The melanin. It is so subtle though. Okay, let's see. It says almond oil, avocado oil, vitamin E, carrot seed oil, and fragrance. Oh, it smells so good. It does kind of smell sinful, I ain't even gonna lie. I was thinking about putting together like a date night. Maybe I'll do a little date night shower, get ready routine type of thing. And in particular, I'll be using a lot of their products because Salt XO, Salt XO is for the ladies, okay? The ladies if you know what I mean. Okay, and then freaking apple cutter. Ours broke and I'm actually really hungry. That's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna say it's my post-workout snack. It's been at least an hour or so since my workout, so I wouldn't even call it that. I just need to do better with eating brunches breakfast. I'm really not good at that at all. Kind of lazy in that department and bougie a little bit. I don't really like eating uh, apples regular anymore. Like, if I have something like this, 
gonna do it. Shower steamer, that's what it's called, but I just call it a shower bomb because it's like a bath bomb's little cousin and it made the shower smell so freaking good. That was the lavender like relaxing scent, so that was more for the nighttime. The energizer shower steamer. I actually wish I would've opened this before I just took my shower because it's for the morning. Here and then, I got these foot soaps. It's like a variety pack, so it came with these four in here. Lavender, tea tree oil, citrus detox, and muscle relief. The reason I got this, it's supposed to come in, I think I saw my Amazon order said it was coming in tomorrow. Your girl went ahead and bought a foot soaker. Is that what, it, no, a foot spa. I've been debating on getting it for a while now, but I want to like do better. Oh, and I bought a foot massager, y'all. So actually I will show you guys that, why not? But I have like been dwelling on that for a while. A foot massager and a foot soaker. It's kind of like I've been wanting it, but then I'm like, is it necessary? But I don't go to get like pedicures and massages often enough. And my feet in particular, I got thick feet. Part of me feels like, not nah, no, it doesn't even feel like it's because of my African genetics, okay? Josh makes a whole joke about it, et cetera, et cetera. But it's also why your girls are some all American. So we can play with it teeter totter, but at the end of the day, it benefits me a lot. But my feet, I just be, they just be hurting sometimes. And when I want massage from Josh, he'll do it. But his thumbs end up hurting because they're so thick. Like he has to really like, sometimes he'll like punch my feet and it feels so good. So, <laughs> I don't want to keep on abusing my man. He's still going to give me foot massages, you know, at the end of the day. But sometimes I'll be wanting them daily, and he's not going to do that. So I just decided to treat myself, and I want to eventually make a, like, full-blown pamper routine. Once I get in my own routine, I'll make a video for you guys, but it's definitely going to include that stuff. I'm excited. I'm really, like, emerging myself, though, into full-blown self-care and playing no games about it. This is just something that makes me feel good. It makes me feel womanly makes me feel like I'm taking care of myself. Let's go try out this face mask. And no alcohol, no parabens, no harmful chemicals, no synthetic dyes. Ooh. Ooh. First of all, that smells really good. Second of all, this color is beautiful. What? I wonder how it's going to differ from um, the green detox mask. See if it restores my skin. I actually should have given y'all and myself a close up before I applied it so we can see if there's any difference when I take it off. Does anybody know, by the way, is it okay to do face masks daily? Like not the same exact one. I would want to switch it up because I was thinking about that. I feel like I always feel very taken care of and happy as well whenever I do face masks during the day. Lessens the weight of work if that makes sense. Cause it's like, okay, I gotta work, that's a given, but also I can take care of myself at the same time. You feel me? You should be good with balancing that at all. So that is, I'm trying to, like I told y'all earlier, work on developing a routine for myself. Honestly, even beyond that, it's like developing a routine, but I'm also determined to learn how to romanticize my life. Cause I feel like I've never really dove deep in that journey before. Even like yesterday, Josh and I were filming a quality conversation and I fixed myself some tea. And instead of just putting the tea in the teacup or whatever, I cut up a lemon, squoze some lemon in it, and then cut up a slice of lemon and put it on the side. Just elevated it, you know? And it kind of romanticized the experience of drinking tea. I'm just, I'm in that phase now. I want to start romanticizing my life, being extra AF. You know, it just, I don't know, it makes me happy. It makes me feel like, quote unquote, living life to the fullest. Even something as simple as doing the most with my tea. It just really does something for me. You can do face mask daily, and is that okay? Because if that's the case, that's another way I will work on romanticizing my life. Okay, oh my gosh, I look like one of them blue men. That blue man group. <laughs> oh, Bae just got home, y'all. I, I have something fun for us to do. Yeah, he's take, remember I told y'all he's taking me on a surprise date, I don't know where. He just told me. She needs to be prepared. I need to look cute for the first part of the date and then regular, regular clothes for the second. So I said, I need to know. I, I want to hear it on camera. The second, so can know the too. first part, I'm going to have a nice lunch. A cute lunch? Yes, we're gonna have a very cute foie lunch. Boogie 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 Second part, we're doing a group pottery class. Ah, interesting. We're gonna make a little pottery. I like that. It's a two hour throwing class. Oh. We're gonna learn how to like throw pottery. Oh, is that the terminology? Yeah, it's called throwing. You put on a little spin wheel. Mm -hmm. See, this is a conversation me and him have both been having about the romanticizing life more, just doing more and stuff. <laughs> You. I think it'd be fun because you said you 
did it before, right? Yeah, when I was growing up. Yeah. All so the time. I think it'd give you some nostalgia. Interesting. Never done it as an adult. Mm -hmm. That's a different type of date. I like that. And then you're gonna feed my tummy before because you know I'm a foodie. Damn. You know me so well. Yo, just got back from the grocery store. I thought I was gonna take you guys with us, but then I also didn't think we were gonna eat as much. Ended up getting half the stove. Mm -hmm. Not even, not even. Well, we're hungry. You got every bag of chip in there. Yeah, we did. Actually. That's a word for the wise. Don't go to the grocery store. Hungry? hungry? Don't do that. Oh my you gosh. end up coming back with half the store every time. Yeah. Also, got you got me flowers. Ooh, look at these flowers. Yeah, sometimes when they get older, they're okay. This is the circle but, of life. Um, the circle. This is what they look like, but ow! That dang old needle! That hurt. You grabbed it like a soldier. Shut up, Josh. I don't know why you went full <laughs> straight grab for it. This is the before. This is the after. This is how they looked before. And then, carry oh, it by the, no, see, I carried it by the plastic. Don't do me. I now, I think I told you guys last time, I'm really like obsessed with having flowers by my desk now. And these little bad boys, they're pretty much dead as well, looking like a dandelion field. So I'm gonna replace it with this. And it matches my chair too. Actually, the first time I bought, I bought those for myself. I'm very much so into, you know, it's nice for my man to treat me buy me flowers or whatever but it's fine for me to do it as well because it kind of like livens up my space so and then we also some izzy's oh my gosh so our building izzy's in the morning for our like is it called continental breakfast whatever something to that effect but whenever i go down there the izzy's are gone like that we found some at jewel i love the grapefruit grapefruit flavor also had blackberry flavor which is what josh usually likes when we go to um, what's it called? Chipotle. Spring mix. Bacon guacamole. Y'all have not had white cran peach. Try it and then come back and thank me. You will fall in love. Hey, I'm not done. I'm not done yet. I got, I got this oh little cage gosh. thingy. Other camera. So you see like, this is the camera that she's shooting on right now actually. It's the Sony A7C6. But I got this cage because we got a gimbal and I couldn't shoot vertical videos for our content. You know you want that smooth yeah, content. Yeah, we up you know our saying? content, y'all. that smooth content. So I got a gimbal but I got this cage so that I can shoot the video sideways and now it has these little slot holes on it that I can use to attach to the gimbal. I could break that down probably in another video or something. This is her video. I'm 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 gonna I'm get out. Oh, now you wanna get out. I'm now you wanna realize it's my video. What did you just do? We got, I was looking for some um, Toe House cookies. I couldn't find them, so I saw this in the ice cream aisle. We're gonna try out this probably tonight. I've never tried this flavor. Usually when we get chocolate chip cookie doughs, either Briars or Edie's. Um, so I'm excited about this. Hopefully it's as good. We're gonna make nachos this week. Flaming barbecue, bang. In. Jalapeno chips, wheat buns. Trying to do a little bit better, y'all. We trying ground turkey. Cause my mom made some banging um, turkey burgers for us last week. So between the nachos and turkey burgers, we're gonna be set with that. We are chip connoisseurs. We got a whole bunch of chips going on. I found these uh, flaming hot white cheddar chips. Matter of fact, I'm gonna wash my hands and try these. You wanna try these, man? All right, I'm trying to with or without you. <laughs> Yeah. Fun fact, by the way, you if you have some dead roses, for instance, take off the rose petals from the root and save the petals for like a bubble bath or even like a foot soaking type of situation. Like I was telling you guys, mine should be coming in. You can get double use out of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What up, you guys? They and I are actually in the car. We are headed to the suburbs. Going on 10 o'clock. We are going to go see my mom one more time before she heads on her trip tomorrow. I uh, told her that I'd buy her a new phone because her phone has been acting up on her for a while. She just needs a new one, especially with her going into a new country. So we're gonna go do that. I also wanted to pop into Home Goods. Home Goods while we're out there because there's not really a Home Goods out here in the city that I like. So gonna pop into there. We have some sponsors content that we need to 
shoot today. And if we would have did that before, um, we would have ran into traffic heading to the suburbs. We just would have kind of been on a weird time clock. And the uh, content is supposed to be kind of like in a date night form anyway. So I'm gonna just knock out the errands earlier this morning slash afternoon and then shoot the date night content Whew, later today. We've got quite the day ahead of us. We'll oh. see where it leads. Oh, wanna say hi? Yo! You look mighty handsome. Oh, I gotta get you in the light. Oh, look, look, look. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. I see, I see the drip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Not them already starting to put out fall and Halloween stuff. Trick or treat. Bruh, we are still in summertime. What? What? By Halloween, we'll be married, babe. That ain't scary. I don't know what it is. Oh, oh <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Look what I found, you guys. They are bath flowers. And this is another example, too. I guess you put them in your bath and they will dissolve. But the petals, like I showed you guys yesterday, I usually use dead rose petals. But I'm going to try this out. This one kind of has a multicolor going on. I'm going to grab these. Now, y'all know when I come to Home Goods, it's dang near mandatory that I come to the candle section. In particular, I just smelled this one. Sandal plus fog. Actually, I think I get a lot of those from Target, but obviously Home Goods candle selection, it's unmatched. And I've never seen a candle like this. It has three wicks and it smells so freaking good. I'm debating on getting two of these actually, because I'm kind of gonna start redecorating our house a little bit, organizing it a little bit more. One of the things that I'm doing for our guest washroom is buying another like little tower thing. I think you guys may have seen it in my, uh, our master suite washroom a few times, but I'm, and I have like my, hair products, skincare products, stuff like that in those little baskets. Then I have the same type of like tower over our toilet in the guest washroom, but I want it to look obviously a little bit more aesthetic for the guests. And I was thinking about getting a candle to put on it, a few candles to put on it. And I think this one is definitely a winner. I'm just debating, like I said, if I'm gonna get more than one. Now this is exactly why I say home good candle section is undefeated, you guys. It's a freaking roll, like, Circular rose bush, three wicks as well. I'm definitely getting, I think I'm getting two of these to be honest with y'all. You guys know I am big on like memories, pictures and stuff and both of my memory boxes are pretty full at this point and this is the same exact one I have at home. The Virgo on me likes symmetry and like things matching. You know this, they know this. So I am definitely getting this even though the other one's not completely full yet. You know the one that I keep like a lot of our college stuff in? This is the same exact one. Yeah, I need another one. I need it because it's gonna get full, you know? It's gonna get full. So then I'll have this one and it'll be you know, a family. Now, what y'all need to know is that Nisa wants are different. She wants this. She wants this. We're not gonna make home memories together. We are gonna make home memories together. We are about to get married. We, we, get married. From our combined we do have a bunch of okay. combined pictures, okay. but you don't need, need it. Need it. Yeah, she's, she's convinced that she needs it. So, oh, just understand the difference. Kind of these, these candles we need too. I'm just kidding. Now the candles we don't need, but I want a little candle crazy. Okay. Got a nice little. I'm really trying one. to figure out where these Green candles be going, cause like we literally have so many candles that you can smell us before you see us. Yeah. Now, yes. I'm trying to figure but out. Don't where you like when I light go. them in the house? That's yeah. a vibe. The house gonna be 10 degrees hotter, cause you got a hotter. You got yeah, flames all over the house. Yeah. All over. Not that I just found another one. Now this is a baby version, obviously, of the one I have at home and the one I'm about to get. But again, need a family going on. Oh, I'm so excited. I can only snap because my other hand is uh, obviously holding the camera. <laughs> Y'all might call me crazy for this, but I have been wanting something like this in my washroom for the longest. I think I'm about to get this junk. Bruh, I've seen so many like home decor television shows as well as like aesthetics on the gram of people having like some type of flower tree. Sometimes it's usually like a hanging lily type of thing going on. Now this one isn't that, but I love this color. I don't even really think it's picking up correctly. It's like a hot pink kind of vibe, but it also has like, I think I'm getting it though, y'all. Look, Josh probably looking for me. Let's see his reaction. Our washroom, our guest washroom by the bathtub. Yes, babe. Do you remember the home decor show that we were watching recently? And she would have like the like tree thing hanging over the tub or whatever. And I've seen it so many times and I really wanted it. I was gonna do it eventually, but when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. What do you think, Josh? <laughs> Come on. For real? Okay, can you put it? Okay, we gotta make room. 
I'm up in this store, y'all, trying to get my cre creative juices uh, flowing. Me and Josh were recently watching this um, Netflix show. It's called How to Build or How to Make a Sex Room. Nonetheless, it is to me more about, I know that sounds kind of funny, but it's more about like the interior design. That woman snapped on the rooms that she created. And one of the rooms had like a similar type of structure like this in terms of the tree, but then she had like candles lined around the bottom and it looks so pretty. And I really want to turn the guest washroom more into like Josh, this nigga, <laughs> a sanctuary is what I was gonna say. A sanctuary for myself when it comes to like doing my self care and hygiene, and then obviously the guests benefit from seeing the aesthetic as well. But that's what I'm feeling right now, y'all. So the juices are going. I think I'm gonna get these sets of candles as well as obviously we're getting the tree. You guys, look. My little travel bin thing. For those of you guys who maybe never seen it, I, I know, yeah, my Barbie box, I should say. Oopsie, shouldn't have did it with one hand. Mama in the house, hey. hey. You ready for your trip? Emma, Emma. <gasps> oh, I'm so ready, I'm so ready, I'm so ready. I'm trying to check mom in right now. It says her flight's landing in Punta Cana. I said, oh girl, you're special. Uh, mom also can clearly see this tree I was telling her about redecorating our guest room, our guest washroom into like my little sanctuary, but it'll also be like a nice aesthetic guest Yeah, you like? I love this EC. Thank Josh. you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just went with the flow of it. Just going for the ride. <laughs> Ma's trying to figure out if she wants my size phone, which is a 13 Pro Max, or the 13 Pro, which is the size you already have right now. You too. We're letting her have her baggy. It's a security case, but that don't mean you can't launch it. Yeah. Oh, we're twins, Mom. God. The back of it. It's so pretty. It only does that. It's only your face. That's right? So after all that shopping, running around on errands, we have all worked up an appetite. So we are pulling up to Chick Fil A. So we just got back to Ma's house. I actually had something delivered here she doesn't know about, so we're gonna get her reaction on camera. No, I just told you earlier this week or something. Oh my God. Oh, I can smell it out the package. Oh yeah? Wonder what it could be. You need some, are you getting it done? Okay now, I thought this would be most fitting for you. Yes, honey. No wonder it was smelling so good. I got mama oh. some shower bomb. <laughs> oh my God, Josh. Okay. Yeah, that's a whole aroma. Oh. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be one at a time. God, easy. Yeah, let me sit easy. Huh. You know, you gave me three. I'm aware, and you love and, it so much. Yeah, and I, I, I said, no, I'm not going to take it on my trip because uh -huh. I don't want to use it up, right? Uh -huh. I don't want to use it up. And now I can take some on my trip. <laughs> you like that? Good. You had all the different fragrances, so you have a couple more. Oh my well, God. I can pick it out. This is the lavender one. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yes. so I showed you guys some of the um, shower thing. steamer that I recently oh got. It's God, like a bath bomb's little cousin. Yes. Shower steamer. So there's lavender in there. Relax, refresh, Ooh, recharge. Got you a gangsta lean. Tell it, girl. It's that's like if you, you sit, uh, if you have a cold or something. Yes. Put that in the shower. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good God. one. All right, you guys, we are leaving Ma. We will see you. In about a week, have a great time. I will. Thank you, y'all. Love you. Yeah.
you so better send me pictures and call me and all of that. Back to you. <laughs> and I'll say bye. Bye, babies. Ooh. Ugh. I need me know enough, but I'll be ordering half the time anymore. Oh. Okay. Old clothes of mine at my mom's house that is perfect for the summer. Josh didn't really like that, but you know, fashion, fashion takes, oh, what am I trying to say? Fashion, I don't know, I need it a little. First off, all that's been added is the tree and baby. I already see the vision, y'all. This is about to look so fire. I'm going to transform this washroom. I cannot wait. I'm going to make it my own little sanctuary. This is what I need. Like I told y'all, I think, I don't know if it was on Instagram or on here, but I'm really focused on romanticizing my life, falling in love with my life, like reinventing self, recentering, refocusing. Like I'm just in that air. I'm in that Oh, Josh hates when I say era. Era, I'm in that fate of my life, and I'm, I'm excited, y'all. I am excited. The juices are going, kind of similar to the room transformation I did last year. It's gonna be different. I'm low-key gonna hit, I don't know if I'm gonna hit every room, but I know I'm gonna start with making this room my sanctuary, and it's also gonna be the guest washroom, so they're gonna get the vibes. Now, along with the juices flowing, along with the juices flowing, now, I definitely think seeing the curtain with this, I might end up changing these. We might go real bougie up in this junk. And my mom gave me a really good idea too, like all these bath salts and stuff that I have, even, um, I think I showed you guys, this is the boxes. I told y'all my um, foot massager and foot spa came in for them. I might unbox them today or tomorrow, depends on after we finish that sponsored content. But also these bath salts I showed you guys yesterday, I got off Amazon. My mom was saying, why don't we put it in like, you know those aesthetic like glass jars or whatever, instead of it staying in these plastic bags and I will have it on the little shelf Oh my god, it's gonna look so cute in here. Ah, I'm so excited! I'm on FaceTime right now with Ma, y'all. <laughs> I have to show her. Say hi, Ma. Hello. The tree, like what it looks like in there. And I forgot to show you guys, which is why I turned the camera back on. What um that post thing is up. That's gonna be above the Isn't this so pretty? Gorgeous. Yeah, and then I showed you this. And then I showed you this, right? Mm -hmm. And this candle. Yeah, it's gonna look nice in there. So it kind of like goes with this type of vibe. It's a three wick one. Isn't that pretty? So that like mixed with this color, if you can kind of see in like the That's brown it. wicker, it's gonna look, wow. Oh, it's gonna smell amazing. It looks so pretty in there. Girl balls. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it as well. It's a little snow globe. It's like a book like a book stand but like look at the colors can you see that i see yeah it's, it's like station. straight up it's clear but if you kind of like look at it from an angle it has like i found the video on netflix by the way you guys of that inspo that i got now granted that's a different type of tree and stuff i'm gonna make it my own but this was a huge piece of inspo and then also i really original time i got the inspo was sweetie she had had a video on instagram that showed a glimpse of like her wash Room. And I was like, what is that? She had a tree up in there, y'all, and that is her tub right there. And then she also has a full body mirror right by the tub. Now, yes, I was kind of on stalker energy because these are two different pictures or two different occasions, but I could just tell, hell, there's a full body mirror, right? And then this is her in it. That's kind of where I got my inspo for the idea, but I'm excited to try to turn this into my own little like sanctuary. Y'all, this is the... This is the power of technology, okay? This on Amazon right now. So I'm looking up like a rug to go in there. This is like crazy. I hope it's making sense. I was looking at this rug on Amazon, trying to figure out like how I wanna decorate the washroom and it gave the feature view in your room. This is nuts. Is that not wild? I do think I'm gonna get this rug though. I think that looks really nice with. And I think that the shower curtain though, I'm gonna try to find low key this type of color, like a sage green, just to bring out a little bit more color in here. At first I was looking at uh, a color like this, like is that like a grayish, brownish? I don't know, it's an interesting color, but it kind of matches the floor already and I want to bring a little bit more color in here. So I think again, I'm gonna go for like a sage green type of color and bring it all together. Oh, it is a beautiful day in Chicago. Not too cold, not too hot. 
not too well it's a little bit cloudy actually it's a little bit foggy but still at least see things because most of the time last week we, pretty much all last week y'all we were in a cloud i mean y'all could see literally nothing it would just be white right now if it ends up happening this week i would definitely bring you guys out here so y'all can see it you have to see it to believe it it'd be ridiculous but it's beautiful today so very grateful for that now y'all are about to see a little behind the scenes of influencing about to knock out this well part one of this brand deal the producer yeah that I'm guy playing on that guy. honestly <laughs> that guy that guy okay I guess I'll show y'all the final product because I don't know what this man is up to. Are you okay? <laughs> this man done found another ready? blanket. Ready another for one. what? Port. Uh -huh. Grab all of them. Okay. Ah, damn! Are you alright? No! Are you okay? <laughs> my hand, my Come on, the video's still recording. <laughs> We're up behind the scene, the date night at home, movie date night with Bay. Quad. All right. Bring the bottle, thank your God. And cut. That's a wrap, wrap. folks. <laughs> it is a wrap. We're gonna open these curtains back up because we like natural light, but for camera purposes, we need to shut that down. The sunset is fire vibes. Beautiful. We low key need to come out here for a second and just enjoy this chill session real quick. You did great. Thank you. You're really okay. good on scene today. We gave up the poof poof. We gave up the poof poof. This would have been one of those times man. for us in the past. It would have been. <laughs> I promise. Hey, this would have been right now. <laughs> it's all good. It's cool though, yeah. Yeah, we're enjoying it. Enjoying life. Enjoying everything. Let me see if I can turn the aperture down just a little bit so y'all can really get the vibe. That kind of does it. <laughs> and hot sauce on my barbecue chips. Hey, half, half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> the spicy stuff, man. We can't just have barbecue. Everything got to be spicy. Too happy. <laughs> It's hump day. Today is the day date Josh planned for us. I'm all dressed. I'll show you guys a full body really quick, but I to add my final touch, my perfume. I'm using the YSL, this Libre. That's the scent of the day. Come on, girl. Thank you. Hey, you smell good. Woo! I'm turned up. Add yeah. a little bit of razzle-dazzle to razzle it. Razzle-dazzle. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Dress is actually from AliExpress. Purse, I think it's from Shein, Amazon, Akira. It's actually a super cheap fit, to be honest with you, but nice. I make it look. You look expensive, I'll tell you that. Okay. Okay, I feel you. I gotta put on some cologne now, because I'm not, yeah, even, yeah, I'm not yeah. keeping up with the smell. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so come hither, beautiful. Where are we at? We are going to Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Chicago cut steak. Stop. Yeah. I feel like my melon. Yeah, you look good. Showing. You look good, girl. Yeah. You look good. Thank you. All right, let's go in here. Let's go in here. We're already late for the rezzo. If you didn't know, Chicago cut. Chicago, Chicago cut. cut. They recommended that we get the true love, but Bay likes the siesta. I might get the true love. Yeah, I want to see like. In the name of love. Dabble. In the name of love. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. a daiquiri as well. Mm, the daiquiri might be nice too. Get what you want. It's a day. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
So we just finished up dinner. Oh, I said dinner, lunch, whatever. And they was like, oh. We had a cute brunch. Like, okay. Let me tell y'all about something. Let me tell y'all about something. <laughs> I don't know why y'all ladies do this to yourselves. Because this dick toe look like it is holding on for dear life. <laughs> life support. He said you want to walk around a little bit. I and said. This toe ain't going nowhere. This toe look yeah. like it's going to fall and off. usually these are comfortable, but it's like Jeez. not okay. Gee, you look like your stuff is losing circulation. It is. That's exactly what it's doing. It's gonna be R.I.P. to the big toe. I need to use my foot massager tonight. Will you help me? I got you on camera. Can help me set it up? You think you're so slick. No. Okay, fine. Oh my God. Thank you. Such a powder. You're lucky you're cute right now. You're super cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but this toe right here? Yeah, this one's okay. You see how this can breathe? Hashtag I don't know why pray this... for the big toe. <laughs> Hashtag pray for the big toe. Shut up, guys. Big toe awareness month. <laughs> Woo! Look at her go. I ain't never seen her move so fast. I ain't never seen her move so fast in her life. Don't judge by the way, y'all. We camped out here. We did. We low-key slept here on the couch last night and camped out. Got the water bottle. Got a laptop, bro. We we definitely. Oh. Don't you show my feet. Free them big toes, baby. Free them big toes. Ooh, Jesus. Okay, she's probably going to take it out. But okay. Little Einstein, all aboard, get ready to explore. <laughs> oh, y'all. We are now en route to our part two of our date day that Joshua Wade has planned for your girl. The We're going to a better. pottery class. Pottery. I have not done this since I was a little girl, so I'm actually really excited. Gonna work on those delicate hands. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually getting on here looking like a completely different person. Same day, y'all. Took off the wig, the makeup, got a little bit chiller, more comfortable or whatever. So I'm excited, y'all. Show y'all a little behind the scenes, I guess. So what I was unaware of until now is that it's a BYOB type a situation. Yeah, what you like, mean? Tequila? I said tequila. Well, when we came, we popped up early. I guess this place, the Color Cocktail Factory. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Evidence. Wow. Oh, put my ring away. Oh, my ring away. I'm gonna be on. Are you red or black? We can go back and forth because I know you like red. I might be red. Oh. Today. This game was great. <laughs> Dunzo. Things got interesting towards the end. Dude kind of reassured me and made me feel better. I have to restart like three times, y'all. Although it might have looked good um, for the clips that you guys saw, it got a little crazy. Towards the end of trying to like finalize this man who's good at everything, fixed it up just a little bit for me, but y'all, <sighs> I gotta, we gotta take more class. That was really fun. And I told him while we were in there finishing up, I was like, is there any movies going on? Movie theater? is like our thing, dine-in, AMC theater. We haven't been in so long. So I looked up if they had anything we would be interested in. Josh is interested in Top Gun. 
Top Gun with Tom Cruise. Mm hmm. So that's what we're gonna go see. It's nine now. The movie starts at 9:45, and we are nearby. So we're at the AMC Dine In. Mm -hmm. We usually go there and eat, but they close the kitchen at like 9:30 or something. So we're gonna jet back, change clothes, go to McDonald's. I was gonna say, yeah, we're gonna be a little ratchet, <laughs> a little ratch, ratch. Babe, today's been amazing. Good. Thank you. You deserve it. Hmm. Movie on me. I already bought it. Food on me. Okay. Okay. That'll be like five bucks. <laughs> you can get anything off the dollar menu. Oh, you got. Can... I was trying to catch him on camera doing oh, his little. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Happy. Is it Thursday? Yeah, y'all. I haven't really checked in. It's actually pushing evening time. I have been feeling pretty out of it today. Mother Nature is on her way, so my body is aching. I'm super tired. Very moody. But, yep. Uh, Josh, don't do that. Anyway, work doesn't stop, doesn't care. So <laughs> I thought it would be cool to just check in with you guys as well as uh, show you guys this campaign that we're working on right now requires a voiceover. So Bay just hooked up like the mic situation, had those clean, crispy voiceovers. And we have, it's probably gonna get a little bit that. dark. I'm sure you showed them that. What? You showed them all the dirty dishes. Don't judge us, y'all. I, I told them we, they gonna see the real. We're documenting, we're not creating anymore. So it is what it is. So this is a little bit behind the scenes of influencing. We also posted this one today. Show you a little quick glimpse. Okay, okay. You gotta see the rest <laughs> if you wanna see the rest. And then I posted the little horsey, get ready with me. Okay. And then this was our Airbnb, which I think I did already show you guys. So if you guys are interested, I know it's hella dark, <laughs> but if you guys are interested, I just look like a silhouette. <laughs> if y'all are interested though, definitely go on the gram to see some of the sneak peeks of our batch trip, as well as- We really need to do this voiceover. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's get excuse to me. it. Well, excuse me. Well, I don't say it. love you guys. Y'all, look how unreal this skyline looks. I don't even feel like it's picking up on camera. Come on now. Let me fix this exposure a little bit. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That seems more accurate. Absolutely gorgeous. Still won't do it justice. Yeah, it's not. Absolutely gorgeous. This is breathtaking. Well, y'all, we finished the production. We have a couple good scenes in there. I guess we can show you guys the back end clips. You know, what yeah, I'm a little some some on the Since back. Since y'all saw some teasers. Y'all saw the teaser clips on the back end. Mm-hmm. Came out super came cute. Out really cute. We're quite the team, man. We are. We are. You know, the casting came out great. Mm -hmm. The content came out great. The voiceover went smooth. Mm -hmm. I think a technique that we use a lot is we shoot the content, shoot a bunch of it. Yeah. Write the script out. Mm -hmm. The script is usually shorter than the film, but then we make the film match mm -hmm. the, the shots that we have. I think that's By we, he means he. It's just Wade Productions, <laughs> it's a, y'all. It's, it's a good process. Mm -hmm. If you're ever trying to like do a voiceover, don't try and like make the voiceover match the film. Just mm -hmm. film a lot. By speed it. talking or yeah, talking like, hella slow, yeah. yeah. Just make it fluid and then go on the back end and just adjust the clips to match your voice. A good influencer tip, actually. Now, also, a few days ago, I had said that I wanted to open up these Amazon packages with my freaking foot massager and stuff. Uh, what is this? I said I don't know. Uh, huh. This is like this? string, string table? It. It's a smaller box. I'm so oh, done. Oh, wow. I'm so done. I know what it is. It's that doggone shelf. That shelf took me freaking an hour. Two hours. This is not happening tonight, so we're just gonna push this off to the side. Next box, next box. What is this? Oh. Ah! This is the uh, Amore, okay, Amore what? shower steamers. I told you guys I got the Energizer one, I got the Lavender one for nighttime, and the Citrus one for morning time. And then this is just when I'm feeling myself, when I'm feeling, feeling myself. some me time. And then I also picked up this Eucalyptus foaming foot scrub with Thomas. See that? Okay. This is for this foot soaking machine that I done got. If this Ooh. is even a foot soaking machine. Yeah. Yeah. The wheels on the bus ain't going round and round. <laughs> Amazon, you created a monster. Yeah, it really did. Hey, you see the color, babe? You see the color? Oh, of course I do. Chocolate! Chocolate! Let's get chocolate 
twice. I'm surprised either one of our favorite color is chocolate. Like we just, we just maybe it is though. Maybe it is. It's deep down inside. These are automatic um, massagers down there. It has the jet bubbles. It has yeah, it has bubbles, massage, temp setting, heating, and this is a little bit of sparkle in it. I'm so excited for this. I think I might use this tonight. To be honest with you, hey, I might have to test it, it out tonight. Know, live your best life. I also like that this is um when you're ready to take the wa for the water to come out instead of having to dump it out. It goes for a little pee pee. Yeah, basically. This yeah. is actually gonna keep it clean. You know how dust can get inside and stuff after a while? Just put the lid on when I'm done. Woo. This is my new assistant. Uh-huh. This is my replacement, y'all. Nuh-uh. Yeah. I never replacing it. Oh, but it's just an assistant. <laughs> it's my replacement. <laughs> Calf massager with heat. Open your lid up. Cloud massage. Thank you for choosing cloud oh, massage. Oh, it's the warranty. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. This box is heavy too. No, I'm saying that. Ooh. Don't tease me any longer. Plug it in. Yeah. Let's Plug see. it in. What do you mean Don't tease you, first of all? Where are you baby. going? Plug me in. Yeah. Help me in. Yeah, I'll sit right here. You got me messed up, Josh. The perfect spot for me to sit. You down genuinely and have me messed up. You understand? Oh. You know you're not doing it first, right? Oh. There's Lord. no way. Yes. Where is the instructions, babe? This I is know his the problem. instructions. You he plug just... this bad boy in and receive enjoyment and pleasure. Oh my gosh. Heat button, yeah. vibration button, this intensity button. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Watch out. Look out. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Move you back. are in my way. You genuinely got me messed up. You the guy who won't up. freaking even let me get a, a bite out of his food. Who's been sacrificing rubbing your feet for years? Oh my I gosh. <laughs> it's about time the paper was returned. We'll do one and one. All right, well, let me, let's find the plug. Well, let's be mature about this. Nah, you. Let's be mature about you. this. You. Does it go back so you can? It can tilt. That's why it's like that. And so you can put your cast in it. Josh. You're not about to do this first. I will literally unplug everything. All right, get the man. Exactly. <laughs> we all on a team. Let's go. Shoot. Oh, hello. Ooh. Is it sucking? It's not. You got to suction our feet. How you do that? Oh, there yeah, it goes. like that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Wait a minute. What's that one? What'd that do? Where's the pier? Here. I need to see the manual because one of us yeah, needs to be. What'd you do? Intelligent about this. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's getting that tight. That feels good. Ooh, it's getting tight. You like it? Yeah, I like that. I do too. Oh, no, it didn't do one side versus the other. What do you mean? It's compressing side to side. Do you not see oh. it? Side to. Side to side, <laughs> side to side. Want to try a different motion? Yeah, we'll see. Let's. What's up with the motion in the ocean? Ooh, Ooh, that feels good. Oh, green is a go. That. Oh, red feels must be a go. Good. I think I'm turning it up. Okay. Give me that pressure. Ooh. Yes. Please yes. Stay. Please stay. Please stay. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's doing the thing. No. It's doing the man. It's uh, this thing got the Glock Glock 5000. Stop it, Josh. Boy, I tell you. Y'all, I think I may have lost my future wife to a cloud massager. <laughs> I, think, I think she might be considering marrying somebody else. Man has officially been replaced by machine. Back. Let me get the other side. Let me get the other side. Man, that's where the heels at. Man, that's where the heels is at. Messing out, that's where the heels action is. I gotta get in there. I gotta get in there. Move, move, man, move. You paid one of us to miss the opportunity. Now my feet couldn't even get all the way. Oh! Wait till it lets my feet out! Oh! Dang, Dang, I can't even get in there! I can't even get in there! It moved fast enough! Come on! Be careful, man! Open back up. There Open up go. for daddy. Open up for daddy. Stop it, Josh. Oh my god! god. Crazy. Oh my goodness! 
This is everything and more. If you like feet massage or foot massage, you need this. This that thing. This will be the best 200 you ever spent in your life, I this promise. Thing. I ain't even spending this best money ever spent. <laughs> I literally just showed up and this thing was here. How lucky you. Yeah, I know, right? I'm so blessed. I'm gonna throw you half. Yes! Oh, man. We are actually about to head to the dispensary. For those who have followed us, our journey on Patreon, you know this, but we have a wake and bake series that we uh, basically signed ourselves up for. And we've been taking a Mary Jane hiatus for a while now, just yeah. refocusing, recentering, etc. It wasn't getting like terribly out of hand, but it was just too consistent for our liking. And yeah. we realized that there was a fall off in our performance. Right. So we decided to take a step back, reassess. Obviously, you got to create new versions of yourself when you mm -hmm. want to change your mm -hmm. life. So we stopped, but we still want to do the wake and bake sessions because it's still like a fun pastime, but it's more like a delicacy. It's not yeah, like we're gonna just do it on some delicacy stuff, not just like, oh, it was a long Thursday. Let's let's yeah, let's, let's just go ahead. You know, you know. <laughs> we had to. Uh, we were operating at a frequency that wasn't adequate for either one of us based off who we want to be and who we want to yeah. become. So now, technically, um, you could say we were our higher selves, but <laughs> in a literal sense, in a very literal, but sense, not in a figurative yeah. at all. So had to figure that out. We have been what almost a month strong yeah. actually since the last wake and bake yeah really? yeah basically so we're not doing this in vain we're actually going to film a wake and bake session today yeah and i'm also going to well i won't tell y'all actually because our wake and bake sessions we you know wake and bake. people were yeah. saying that they wanted to see josh or us but more so you you yeah, gotta teach so me. one day you gotta teach yeah. me and i'll do it on camera yeah. but um how to roll it like what we're getting how to roll it and then we have our little conversation and then at the end of the last one i can tell y'all this just so you guys can know like our wake a big series low-key is gonna go hard we actually made homemade oreo mcflurries so that was the end of the video so we're gonna quote unquote make something as our like munchy snack so therefore i, I don't know if i'll be making an appearance on here again today <laughs> it's basically what i'm trying to say i don't plan on coming on my channel baked out yeah i like that out. and oh yeah we didn't tell them about the foot massage you were low key fighting over it. Low, yeah, we were definitely fighting over it. But I was gonna say, my feet felt beat the F up. Growing up, our feet were sore as hell because we did two rounds of pop with <laughs> everything on full blast mode. We didn't realize how powerful that thing was. Yeah. And maybe put on a lighter set. I don't to have work sensitive your way feet, which no, is why I thought. No, your feet are far from sensitive, girl. Woo, the thing. Don't do that. Y'all wanna know her nickname? <laughs> Josh gonna do it anyway. Thick feet. Exactly. I call it thick feet. Y'all don't call it that. That's only for me. Yeah, these thick feet made me an all-American six times. Honestly, that's, I really genuinely believe there is some kind of genetic superpower to having thick feet. Because her feet are actually pretty thick. But at the same time, when she be pounding the ground when she was triple jumping, I bet you didn't feel a thing. Not really. And I think I even told them um, when I was telling them about buying the foot massager that you be punching my feet sometimes. Like, y'all. be feeling hella good. <laughs> I really be doing this to her feet, and I'm not even like, I'm not even going light, and she's over here like harder. What? Shut the fuck up. What? <laughs> That's enough. Yes, I'm gonna let her do so this. So y'all, as promised. We picked up Sour Jack. It's a mixture between Sour Diesel and Jack Air. It's a, a sativa strain. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted. I asked for that. We were up until 5 a.m. this morning. Yeah, watching freaking uh, All American, All American season four. <laughs> and my then I, my last check came at like eight, so we've all we're really running off of like two hours, two and a half hours of sleep right now. Yeah. Anyway, though, I just said I was coming on here to show you yeah. guys what we got. But if you want to see the rest of this video, our wake and bake series is going on our Patreon. Y'all know the deal. All right. Mm. It's the skyline though for me. Let's go out here. I love our life. Yeah. I actually also see the kids in bed. Wow. Happy Sunday, guys! Say hey, Ben. So right now we're actually in route um, to Navy Pier. Bay is dropping me off because it's my girl, well all girl, but my girl Chelsea's uh, pre-birthday turn up. It's a margarita festival at Navy Pier. I just hopped on camera acting like I didn't just pop, uh, pop out with my hair blown out. I did that early this morning. I actually had a really good and long Instagram live session while I was blow drying my hair. So maybe some of you guys watching this caught that. What up? Things might get a little bit ratchet though because like I said, it's a margarita festival. My girl likes to drink. She likes to turn up. So we'll see how much I can catch. Happy Saturday again. I see y'all when the turn up begins.
nacho cheese and jalapeno peppers from this place i met a couple of subscribers dope. it was dope but i wanted to make sure i had my composure <laughs> you know like let me not let me not do too much in this moment and then you know how all djs literally when the slide starts the slide will continue mm -hmm. back to back to back that's what he did that's what my hair looked like it does mm. back to back to back to back slid you to death huh? Pretty solid. It's okay. I got here with hit last night, go in there. Yeah, your teeth was warm. Yeah, and that's why I do it. It's taco. taco you just a good bite. How was it? It's fine. It's fine? Yeah. I'm about to take my bite then. Right, right here, y'all. This taco is fine. That works, yeah. 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 Right, I'll tell y'all one thing, Charlie always gonna give us some good tacos. Yeah, Cheers, Zoo. Happy birthday. Ooh, baby, it's a big old shot. Let me do what you're trying to do, yeah. Hey. Period. Oh! Yeah, she, she evened out. She evened out with that one. Part two of the night. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's, it's been quick, um, Bray switch to the up <laughs> Right. To the up I have to real quick. do it. I couldn't be out here like real that. Real quick, though. Real quick, though. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Can you see her name? Can you the bride? Wait a minute. Can he finish y'all? It's our birthday. It's our birthday. Let her finish. Let him finish real quick. Yeah. Okay. I don't like that. Listen to the It was good though. You 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 going somewhere? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Trace on. Okay. Oh, yeah. First pain that I ever had. Oh, I'll yes. Pass, but not, no, I should be smiling. Oh. Seem to be the time that oh, I frowned the most. Oh, 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 oh. Can't believe that we still survive. Yeah. Slowly breaking down, even when I hold you close. Oh, 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 oh. If, if I, I lose you, I'm afraid <laughs> I'm gonna lose. I gave my love to Okay. <laughs> that's the reason I stay around. Even though I fell way into deep. Can't think about giving it up. 
But I got a new love. Oh, 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 can hurt this fucking bad. That's right. Worst pain that I've ever had. Y'all, Bay just made a discovery out this world. Cheese sticks. Cheese sticks, bruh. And salsa. From Chipotle. The spot, the hot, hot the one, hot right? salsa. Yeah, hot salsa. I don't know. That combo. Different. Next level. Different. What? It's different. What? Then he's also over here throwing down on some turkey burgers. It's the presentation. And by the way, you guys, you guys have never had these famous Dave's devil spit, <laughs> devil spit pickle chips. These things will rock your world. Well, y'all, Bay says she wants to try it on camera. Mm. That looks pretty good right now. What? Go for it. What we got going? Is it good or is it great? Yeah, hey, well, that's pretty good. That's one of the best I, I, I've ever had. It's I've actually really good. Had. Uh, Rest, restaurants hands down, man. They got cut them on YouTube. What? It makes them all. First of all, Bay over here throwing the freak down. Damn, huh? You over here cooking these shrimp? Heck yeah! Under hot water. I know. I shouldn't do that. No, the shrimp are already cooked. You're gonna cook them in the mouth. Oh, I thought that was a myth, babe. I really do. It, it was getting it there, though. Definitely doing Sunday right. Decided to put my foot spa bath to good use. I actually got bubbles going in here. They have a bubble freaking mode, you guys. I can turn it off if I want, but I like the bubbles going on. Oh, I also have this that I got off Amazon too. It's a eucalyptus foaming foot scrub with promise. So after I've soaked my feet for a little bit, I'm gonna massage my feet with this. Also, I use this for the bubbles, by the way. This is the Dove bubble bath. They're like an actual bath, but I figured it's a bubble bath would work for foot spa bath. So, that's that going on. And then, oh, that's other things. The skyline is looking mighty fine. It always does, oh, okay, you can kind of see it. Let me see, can turn it down. Y'all see that? So freaking gorgeous. They taste as delicious as they look, honestly. By the way, there's this new movie that came out on Netflix called Gray, the, what is this again? Gray Man. The Gray Man? Yeah, The Gray Man. Very intriguing stuff going on here, so. Oh, it is rank number one. Anyway, back to Self Care Sunday. Good morning, beauty gang. So actually, I probably should have, well, it's 
It's not a matter of should, actually. I was gonna say I should have closed you guys out yesterday. It was Sunday, but it is what it is, you know? Get a little B-roll of self-care Sunday, um, which was absolutely amazing. Like, I don't even know what was, no, I was gonna say my favorite part was definitely the foot spa soaker. That was the first time I used it. It got to a great temperature, created beautiful bubbles. Like it just felt very catering to me. Super fun, I've had a great time with you guys overall with this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed everything I managed to capture. It's always something in Chicago, bro. Anyway, I am starting off my Monday right. I'm hoping I'll have time to work out, but there's a lot of like the business things that need to be prioritized because of deadlines and stuff. However, I always, always, always make sure on Mondays. I try to do it every day. I think I told you guys, I start off my days now before touching my phone and entering into that world and that space. I whip out my daily devotional. I do that and then my positivity journal. Okay, let you guys see a glimpse of that. Whenever I knock out these two things, my days just go so much better, so much smoother, way more productive. My mental and my headspace is great. So I <clears throat> do my little 15 minutes of stillness, then I get to that, then I start my day. So that's what I'm about to do now. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. If you want me to keep them coming, definitely be sure to comment below. Hashtag we want more. But I got you, boo. Anyway. Love you guys and uh, see you soon.